really lovely lemon and almond cake and it's super moist and what we're going to be doing is just going to be creaming butter and sugar in the food processor, toast it with some lemon zest, uh, stirring in some eggs and uh, some ground almond and popping that in, in a cake tin, baking it just for 45 minutes and then when it comes out of the oven, this is the secret, um, we're going to prick it with a, a, a skewer and then just pour some lemon juice over so that the cake like soaks up all the lemon juice and goes really lovely and moist and puddingy and really really good so I love this cake um, we'll hop into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it okay so I've got my oven on to preheat for the cake to 180C or 350F and we're going to cream my butter and sugar just in the food processor so I've just um, chopped the butter into chunks and we'll weigh out our sugar and I've had the butter out of the fridge for you know an hour or so so it's nice and soft um, but you know, if, you, if you forget <laughs> the food processor, you can usually cut it into smaller chunks and it should be fine. So we want 250 grams of butter and then the same again of, I'm using caster sugar, just so it creams a bit more to cream. So just on a kind of medium, medium speed in the food processor, put it on to it. Creaming, I'm just going to zest my lemons. So I've just got two um, lemons here and my zester. So all we want to do is just get the zest of the lemons and I'm keeping an eye on my um, butter and sugar. If it starts, you can turn it down a bit if you think it needs. It's going too fast or if it's working too hard. Okay, so we'll get the zest in with the food processor and with the butter so it can. Um, get chopped up into teeny tiny pieces so just scrape the sides down have a look so um it's starting to look like light and fluffy and lovely but still feels quite gritty so i'm gonna keep um keep creaming and the thing is that this is getting pump whipping air into so you're kind of making a, a batter and it's just one way to get air into your cake mixture so the the lighter um the more you whip and the lighter kind of the the better, although you can over whip. So I'll just keep that going for another couple of minutes. And in the meantime, I'll prepare my tray. So it's got just a regular loaf down here. So I just want to get a baking paper. And then all I do, you could cut it out so it sits in the bottom, but I usually just kind of smash it down like that. And then just so it comes up the sides as well, but yeah, it's up to you if you want to play around and make it neater, you can. Nice and fluffy and light. So we'll just get it back on and we'll add our eggs. So we want two eggs, I'm just adding one at a time so that they get well mixed into the, into the batter. So got my scales there, and we want again 250 grams. It's a nice even, <laughs> like a pound cake, like easy to remember. You um, save some money because almond meal can be quite expensive. You know, just substitute in your know, half flour if, if, you, if you like, or even you could use all flour. Um, you know, it's going to change the texture of the cake. It'll make it a bit um, you know, less rich, but won't be the end of the world hand or we could we'll just pop it on in the food processor we just kind of um we just want it to get it mixed in so low kind of heat speed and if you're using flour probably best to mix it by hand because you've got the gluten in the flour and you don't want to overwork it so as soon as that comes together like that looking good so we'll get that into uh, um into our cake prepared pan there and if your paper is being difficult like that you can just put a bit of butter into the base inside of the pan and then that will just help it stick and stay in place Smooth it out, it doesn't have to be, it's going to work itself out in the heat of the oven, so don't, don't worry about it too much. 
Um, but yeah, then our cakes are ready to feed in for 45 minutes. I'm just going to pull it out and have a have a look. Looking fairly golden and lovely. It feels um, yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, I'm expecting to be a little bit springier. Um, but we'll just have a test, and it's actually looking really clean. So I think that's done actually. Um, it's not a super springy cake because it doesn't have any gluten in it. So what we'll do now, we're just going to punch <laughs> some holes. This is a fun bit. Yeah, that feel, feels feels done. So if it looks fairly light and dry, if you have like lots of mixture coming out on your skewer, then you know it's not done. And then I've just got half a cup of lemon juice, and I'm going to pour that on. And that's just going to add an instant syrup to our, our lovely cake and keep it super moist. And, what you want to do is try and get it around the edges more than the middle because the edges are kind of more cooked. So they're going to need, they're going to be the driest. Great, so then we're just going to let that cool in the pan.